The British diplomat said this when bidding farewell to President Gengop. Airy also spoke about some of the notable conversations that she has had with the president. You were, as you always are, actually a, a challenging person to meet. You run intellectual rings round, which I love, by the way, and always have done. Um, but you challenged me about ODA when I first came in development assistance. And um, you know that I've always felt that you have a real point on overseas development assistance in Namibia, that actually your country deserves support from uh, countries such as mine. So I'm really pleased to be leaving having doubled the amount of assistance that we bring for you, from 3 million to 6 million. Airy says giving money to Namibia should not be seen as a handout, but more as fostering a strong working relationship. She also told President Gengop that her country will give Namibia a further 300,000 pounds, which is equal to more than 6,3 million Namibia dollars in food aid and medical assistance to those struggling as a result of COVID-19 through the International Red Cross. On his part, Dr. Gengop says the government has been experiencing financial difficulties over the past years due to a drop in commodity prices, the drought and the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic. So we really had difficult times and it's tough for us financially. So. But uh, we pulled through. Eri, who has worked in Nigeria and Sierra Leone before Namibia, will be the next British High Commissioner to Uganda. Good luck, Emma. Thank you. As you said, you have a lot of many friends here, so come and visit. Okay. But not alone, come and visit. I will. I will Why? come with my British. I will come with my British. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Thank you very much. And all the very best for the future. Take care. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. As a personalized gift to the president, Airy presented him with a drawing from her seven-year-old daughter, who she says is a fan of the president. It reads, Mr. President, you've done a very good job. Please keep it up, Sophia. Francis Shahama, NBC News, State House.